Today, I'm going to show you how to make high and low frequency shakes for your anime edits or whatever you use them for. Um, make sure you have your clips ready. I already have mine time remapped and pre um, And yeah, I'm going to just show you some pretty solid settings. I'm going to show you low frequency for both clips first, and then I'll show you high frequency next. Alright. So, make the adjustment layer. You know what I'm saying? Um, I recommend getting FX console because that's what I use for my effects, make it easier so I don't have to click the big effects presets. I'll put the link in the description for the people who want it, but basically, I just want to type in S underscore shake. I'm going to show you the low frequency first, and then we're going to go from there. So what I do is I make my adjustment layer and I extend it two frames back before I do anything. That's like your build up basically for your shape. So what I'll do is I'll set the amplitude, keyframe the amplitude and put it to zero on the, you know what I'm saying? It'll make more sense when I put it in. And you go two frames forward and that's where you put your value. For this one, I'll do 1.67. Um, since this is a low frequency shake, I'm going to do three. And then for your mobler and your seed, um, I personally just kind of put whatever. Using motion blur is very optional. You don't have to use it. Some people will tell you not to use it, but I do sometimes. So I'll give you like my settings for it, which is 4.3. Then my seed, I do like, I'll just play around with it. But like for this shake, I already know what like the normal seed for it is. So I'll just put it to what it is, which is 0.59. But usually you just want to play around with it and find like your own type of beat. Anyways, once you have your keyframes, so make sure you have your two keyframes. So go to the end or whatever and put it to zero. So it's like a like that basically. And then what you wanna do for your X shake, I do I mean I play around with it, but for this one I'll do 141. For my Y shake, I'll do 78. And for my Z shake, I'll do I'll do like 32, something like that. And then tilt shake. I changed this to 5.10 or 5.4. Doesn't really matter. Um, my tilt wave amp, I'll do 0.3. And this uh, tilt random frequency, I'll do 2. So then, once you have this all done and set up, you want to then graph these before, like, you know, you can see it. So I'll show you two graphs that I use. I'll put one on now and then I'll show you the graph I'm getting. I'll put a graph. A picture of a graph right here or something that's also good but for this graph you just take this and hold shift and bring it all the way over to make it tight and move the keyframes one two that should be at the end and there you go you have a low frequency shake right there Baby, oh. Baby, oh. this clip isn't the best example since there's no clip before it you can't really see the build up for it so i'll put it on this clip as well you could see it a little bit more and in my opinion, all shakes will look different depending on the clip I mean, from what I've, I've seen. So here's a, oh, which one probably like a different clip so you can see the build up. Like, baby open, baby open, baby open. And if you want to, another good frequency setting, I do 2.8. That's also good. I'll also change the graph and show the other graph that I put on the screen. So hold F9. I think that graph is something like this. Something like that. Baby open. Yeah, that gives it more bounce. Um, completely optional to use, but those are some simple, like, low frequency shakes. Alright, for the higher frequencies, <clears throat> I like to. It's kind of the same setup. So, S underscore shake. And I keep the frequency on 8. Same thing with the uh, amplitude, I'll do 0. Let's say I go two frames down, and I'll just do like 1.67 again, and then go to the end and put it to zero. Again, phase and seed. I mean, not phase. Your seed, you just keep changing it depending on how you want it to look like. I'll just use the exact same ones from the low frequency, which is 0.59, and then just different settings. So I'm gonna do a X shape, and then I'll show you a Y shape. Like, a high frequency watch you can do the same thing for the um, lower frequencies it just definitely looks better with a um a higher frequency shake anyways so 
I'll keep that at 192. I'll change this to 14. Keep the Z shake. Put it to like 32 as well. You can play around with all of these. I definitely will play around with all of these. Like I wouldn't say just use them. But I, would, I would still play with all of them. Okay, same thing for this. 0.3. Change this to 2. And then let's do 5.4 for these. Which one is blue. Graph use. For this graph, you want to do it as sharp as possible because the shape is very aggressive. So I would definitely recommend doing like that graph too. So once you're done, bring the two frames back. One, two. For this, you would probably have to extend it. And I'll show you what this looks like. I'm going to put on my second clip first. Same thing, just higher frequency. I'll put the motion blur on to have it turned off, and I'll show you what that looks like too for both of these. It's up to you. You don't have to use one. I would definitely change it like a little bit less, but optional. For another settings, um, I sometimes will just change this to 210, change this to 32. Same graph, nothing really changes, just different like X and Y values. But that's an X. Uh, X shake, I'll show you a Y shake. It's the exact same settings as these two, it's just split. So this is just different settings. This is 210 and 32. Baby open, baby open, baby open. There's that, and then we have a Y shake, which is how we do. You would change the Y shake to whatever value your X shake has. So I'll do 192, and then I'll do 14, that's how I had it. And same thing for this one. I'll do one and two for this one, and fourteen for this one. Wants you I'll here. actually turn off the motion blur real quick because it's getting on But yeah. Baby open, baby open. So yeah, something calm. Um, just play around with other effects to like build into your shape. Sometimes I will add a blur more curves. I think that's what it's called. It's basically scales, but just a lot better scales i'll do like from 0.1 to let's say like 0.8 or something like that and then graph it with that's really sharp graphs um i definitely would turn this off but i like it i like the way it looks it adds like some cool little you know what i'm saying but i'll play that baby open, baby open. So yeah, that's as simple as it gets um and yeah how to avoid like okay another thing you're gonna have like with both shakes is your tiles um, there's a lot of ways to get rid of them personally i'm very simple i just you know, put like transform or something i'll just scale it in as much as i can and then pray it looks good and usually it does because it looks like it's zooming in you feel what i'm saying but yeah that's basically it so yeah